Hey, hey, what is shaking YouTube? Today we got an awesome 3D printer unboxing because we're gonna take a look at the TiVo Tarantula Pro. Now the TiVo Tarantula was a budget friendly, affordable 3D printer, you can still buy it now, but it came out in 2015, so it's a little outdated. Well, TiVo just released their Pro version and it's only like 20 or 30 bucks more than the original TiVo Tarantula. So you can get this for only $250 and I've checked out all the specs on it, it looks very, very nice, very good build quality, and it looks fairly easy to assemble. So, if this lives up to its expectations and everything, this might be the best option for $250. There's not really a big market. The $250 range for 3D printers, most of them are not that good, or they're okay, but they're ones you, that are like, the whole things are made out of acrylic. This one looks like it's got a very solid build quality, and it looks, pretty promising. So, I guess, let's unbox it. This was also sent to me courtesy of TiVo. I'll put all different places you can buy it down below. Um, but yeah, this was sent to me directly from TiVo. And, and this is um, probably the fourth TiVo printer I've checked out. So, I have a little bit of experience with them. I have always thought they make pretty good products. Um, one thing about TiVo, is their packaging is really really nice they package everything really good like just look at this like all the foam cutouts um, are all extremely extremely nice first off we get a build tack surface um, to print on which is nice um, and then it looks like it is just a, a standard aluminum bed just similar to the regular TiVo um, here we get our SD card some tools uh, we got some spare screws and stuff. Looks like this is for the top where the lead screw goes. All right, we got the carriage. I love the green too, the, the green looks cool. I really liked that about the TiVo Tornado too, I just thought it looked really cool. Um, it is a volcano style hot end. Um, we got two, the two fans right there, two, do, um, two part cooling fans. So very, very cool. You get part cooling from both sides. On a budget printer, you never see that. Um, all this stuff to put together the carriages. I mean, it looks like, it is a DIY kit, but this looks like it's gonna be fairly simple. Um, it looks like it's like, you know, kind of partially assembled. We got a TiVo Titan extruder, which I personally think is one of the best extruders um, there is. Like uh, every printer I've had with, with that's had one of these, it's, it's been amazing. I've never had any problems with them at all. And a lot of the cheap extruders you get on a lot of these printers, especially in this budget line, you're gonna see a lot of crappy extruders. The, these ones are really good. Like you could put those on any other printer, the high-end printer would be awesome. It looks like we got some big bed leveling screws, which is nice. And we got our springs and everything there for adjusting the bed. Um, we got just more screws, more screws. Lots of hardware here. Um, our end stops and the screws for them, more of our wheels and everything for the guide rails, for the bed and everything, um, parts for our lead screw, for the Z-axis. Um, then we got our standard stepper motors, very standard on all TiVo printers, basically all print, all the cheap printers have these exact same stepper motors. Um, they're all, all reliable steppers, they seem to work good, have had never had a problem with them in the past. Um, here's another one. Okay, then we got our aluminum extrusions for the frame. Here. Okay, then here I got my heated bed. It is insulated heated too, so that is a nice touch. Um, the, the, when they're insulated, they hold the heat better so it doesn't take as much power from the power supply to maintain it. It maintains itself pretty well and it heats up a lot faster. So very cool, it's insulated. Uh, I think 2019 they should all be insulated. Also, there is already wire management on here uh, and some strain relief added to the bed prior to you even putting it together. So very cool there as well. Kind of a little safety feature there. Kind of, you know. Okay, so then after you get through this foam, we got a whole nother set of foam. Okay, so here, we be careful with this. This is our LCD screen with our touch knob and everything. It's got the SD card input right on there. Here are the wires for it, so we're gonna put that right over there with it. 
Um, we got more aluminum extrusions. So, I mean, I imagine this will take me a couple hours to put together, but I, this won't be too bad. This is the type of thing you could watch a hockey game or the fights while you do it. Um, the lead screw, they just put it in there. That's actually nice so it doesn't get bent during the shipping process. <laughs> Very nice. Anodized aluminum. I like the green, nice touch. Okay. Kind of weird old. Thing. Okay, this power supply uh, looks a little bit smaller than a lot of the other ones, but it looks like it's going to be adequate. Voltage. Make sure you turn that to 110 if you're in the USA. Um, and cool. Yeah, that nah, looks good enough. Uh, US power supply. You can opt for a European one. Uh, especially if you order from somewhere like Gearbest, they always have the option of both. I'll put Amazon links, Gearbest links, I'll put wherever I can find it. Um, the best prices, the best prices available will be down in the video's description. We have more screws and stuff. More screws, more screws, more screws. We got our belts. We get a little card with the QR code on it for the PDF, it looks like. Uh, the PDF and all the instructions are going to be on the SD card. If this is your first printer and you're like, where's the instructions? Don't worry, they're on the SD card. And TiVo usually also has videos on their YouTube channel, but most of the time they're the same videos that are on the SD card. So might as well just use the SD card. Uh, metal cover, it looks like to hold one of the motors in place. A little tiny sample of PLA. Because uh, it is such a cheap printer, you should, the, usually cheap printers only do this. I wish it, at all printers should come with a lit, at least a little roll of PLA. I mean, I can maybe do, I'll probably do one or two test prints. The first prints, I'll print with this, and then I'll switch to some white PLA, because I got some old reliable, good old white PLA. This is um, where the connectors are gonna go in, you know, for the power and to power the board and everything. Um, we got our PTFE tube. Okay, we give you an extra piece of it, which is nice. And then we got a flexible metal spatula to remove prints. And actually, this one's pretty good. It's pretty darn flexible. So you want a flexible one because if it's um, too stiff, it'll actually rip this. Sorry about that, my phone was going off. Um, but yeah, so um, I guess um, let's, let me get my computer out. I'll go through the directions and everything. And um, we'll time lapse me putting it together, and then we'll get to printing. So the spool holder, it just kind of mounts to the aluminum extrusion. Uh, so you can kind of shove it wherever you want there. But it turned out really good. Uh, it's holding the filament nice and freely now. Uh, it's totally universal, whatever whatever size uh, 
filament roll you got should fit on there. So, all right, now let's fire it up with some other stuff. I get off Thingiverse and print some cool stuff. guys so I've done quite a few test prints with just this regular PLA and um, first thing we did was just the provided g-code and that turned out good and then I started slicing my own thing so I used just stock Cura settings and um, this one came out okay but there was definitely some over extrusion um, and um, some retraction needed to be adjusted so I fiddled with the attra retraction and the flow rate and stuff and then I printed this benchy and the benchy came out much better except there is some like layer lines on here um, if my camera, let's see if I can get my camera to focus on that. Um, I don't know, it's hard to see. Yeah, maybe you can see like these layer lines. There you go, like right there. Now, that, I could tell that was a mechanical layer. So I found out that my eccentric nuts, I tightened them too tight. So I just slightly made them looser. Everything came out better. Then I printed this lithophane. Notice it just looks like that. When we hold it up to the light, it's a picture of my nephew. He's only a couple days old now. So this was cool because I got to do this project right after I took this picture. So very, very cool. Uh, and then, well this is still stuck to the bill plate so I can't take it off. I did this Groot and the Groot came out um, basically perfect. Sorry, my uh, windscreen was getting in my shot there. But yeah, it came out basically perfect. So my retraction settings I ended up using were 45 was the distance and, or no, the speed, 45 millimeters a second, and 5.5 was the distance, yeah. And um, yeah, so it, it came out pretty good. I had my flow down to 98, I printed it at 200 degrees. Um, but yeah, so far this printer's been really, really good. It's nice and quiet, um, it prints really nice. I'm, like, I'm actually blown away by this. So, next I'm gonna load up some copper filament, and um, we're gonna see how some exotic filaments work on this machine. Okay guys, after three days, I have really put this printer through its paces. I've printed quite a few things. I've got the, the spool holder, obviously, the Benchy, all this stuff. So I think now I've played with it enough where I can really give you my honest opinion. So first things first, when you first get this thing, it's packaged great. The instructions, TiVo always blows it away with the instructions. Most of these companies, they're like broken English, 
The pictures, if they have any, are in black and white. They're really hard to tell. This had great colored pictures, amazing directions, good English, um, and they're just really, really nice. They're all on the SD card. They also have links to their YouTube channel where they have um, videos, too, that will help you. If you're more somebody who likes to put them together with videos, you can go check that out, too. But it's all on that SD card, so really, really cool. The build quality itself, though, I mean, it's really nice. Most of the stuff on here is metal. The, um, there's a couple plastic parts, but nothing that's like holds the frame together or anything. The TiVo Titan extruder, love it. I also like that this printer's a little on the quiet side. Like, I just started a print so you guys can hear that uh, as I'm talking. It's the type of printer you don't have to have it, like, in your basement because it's so annoying. As long as it's just, you know, in the other room or something, it's not going to keep you up at night or anything. Obviously, I wouldn't want to have it right next to my bed, but it's not crazy loud. If you have your TV on, your TV will probably actually drown it out anyways. But yeah, the build experience was just awesome. It only took me like two hours. I was just watching TV, having a couple drinks. It went together without a hitch. So love that about it. Um, just make sure when you put it together, don't over tighten your eccentric nuts like I did because then you might have some layer lines and you need to loosen them up a little bit. But other than that, it went together perfectly. Um, but the main thing why I think this printer is a great printer is because it's only 250 bucks. Every other printer I've checked out that's 250 bucks, it's either been like really small or it's, it was like the world's biggest nightmare to put it together or it was like all made out of acrylic. Um, this, for the build quality and everything you're getting, this this printer blows it out of the water. This, this is, without a doubt, the best printer under $300 I've checked out. I've only had it a couple days, but I'm going to continue to do tests with it. Um, it printing the copper filament great. The PLA, it literally, this is the best quality out of any printer I've ever had, especially one that I've only had a couple days. I might have a printer that can print just as good, but those printers are like $500 plus, but I don't think I have anything that prints better than this. The cooling fans on both sides, like I, most good printers, like expensive printers don't have that. And this is a $250 printer. I think TiVo's really... They're really set in the notch. They're like, okay, it's 2019. We got to we got to make the printer better. We got to make them cheaper. We got to do this. We got to do that. Um, it is a fairly large build volume, but if this isn't if this printer is a little too small for you, I would recommend the TiVo Tornado. This is under $300. TiVo Tornado is like maybe $100 more. And then they got the Nurus. I haven't checked that out. Um, who knows? Maybe TiVo will send me that one too, so I can check that one out because that one looks really cool as well. But so far, I I've checked out three TiVo printers. Uh, the Michelangelo of this and um, the Tornado. And I've been blown away by all of them. They have very good customer service. Um, I've dealt with them personally. They're just, they just hook it up. They're, they're really nice. And yeah, I, I can't say anything bad about this printer. It's rock solid too. Like I can pick it up and move it while it's printing. And um, I accidentally unplugged it, but if I wouldn't have done that, it would have kept printing perfectly. So yeah, huge fan of this. I'll put a link down below if you want to get it off Amazon, you want to get it off Gearbest, wherever. I'll put all the links I can find and uh, I'll leave it up to you if you want to pick it up. You can get it, get it whatever store you like to. So thank you, TiVo, for sending me this. Once again, I'm not affiliated with TiVo at all. I, they just saw one of my, my video on the Tornado, but you can go check that one out too. I do like that printer. It's a little, little outdated now, but the price of it's gone down because of that. Not outdated. It's just it's from like last year, maybe two years ago. But this thing, loving it. So the TiVo Tarantula Pro, I think it's a big step up from the regular Tarantula. Great price point. Uh, you can't go wrong with this thing. So, till next time, guys, I'll see you later, and thanks for watching.